Hello, this is my Revox A77 uh, MK4. Uh, I recently got a tape that was uh, recorded on 15 inches per second and uh, this machine is the normal speed version as you see here. So I could not play back uh, that tape. Uh, okay, anybody would say just record the music on a computer. See, there. Record the music on the computer, then uh, digitally increase the double the speed of uh, the audio and you will listen to the music that was in the tape. Okay, I know that. Everybody knows that. We live in the digital era and uh, everything is, do is done uh, digitally now. Uh, these machines are obsolete now. They are not uh, very useful. And, and we, the people that we use them, we know that they are not that useful. The thing is that um, many of us, uh, we have grown with these machines. We know, we learned hi-fi by using them. And uh, that's why we love them. So we keep them and we like uh, to look at them, turn around. And this is the, the reason we keep on messing with them. Although it's not an easy thing to mess with these because they, they have a lot of faults. Uh, you have to repair them all the time, uh, always problems. And, but uh, if you love something, you keep on with it. So that's it. Uh, I found a way to, uh, to make this machine play 15 inch per second. It is uh, a very bulky method and not professional at all. Okay, I have to tell that. And uh, I will show you now how I did it. Okay. This here is uh, the normal speed uh, capstan shaft, okay, and there is a tape guide just near here. So when the machine plays back, the tape comes here, it's like, like that, Tuck there. Um, you see, like that. So the diameter of this shaft is uh, four and a half millimeters and uh, the diameter of a 15 inch per second machine, it's a high speed machine, it's uh, nine millimeters. Okay, you can uh, replace this shaft with another shaft coming from a high speed machine, but the problem is that then the tape will not be there, it will be somewhere there. I don't know if you can see it. It will be somewhere there. So the tape will slip out of this guide here and it, it will just move around. It will not have proper contact with the head and uh, the machine will not be usable like that. What I learned is that you can increase this, the diameter of this shaft up to six millimeters and uh, then the machine will remain in it, the, the tape will remain in, in this position. Okay, not exactly there, but it will be playable. Using my vary speed, you see, this is a remote control for vary speed. It goes there in the original remote control socket. I've converted this machine to vary speed and I made this uh, control. It's out. Var speed in var speed and with this I control the speed. So if I increase the diameter of this shaft to six millimeters, it will not play 15 inch per second, but then using my var speed, I can increase the speed and make it play 15 inch per second. By using the var speed with the original shaft, it will not reach 15 inches per second. It will go close, but it needs some more. It will be about uh, 13 inches per second. I don't know exactly, but about that. But if I increase that the, the diameter of this shaft even a little bit, it will be able, by increasing the speed with the remote control, to play 15 inches per second. And now I will show you how I did it.
I will now show you the diameter of the original uh, carton shaft, as you can see. You see? It's about uh, four and a half uh, millimeters. This is a very, a, a very cheap meter, okay, but this is how, this is how much it is. This is a plastic irrigation pipe. It's a very common pipe, you can find it uh, everywhere. And uh, the, diam the outer di diameter of this pipe, okay, here, the outer diameter of this pipe is uh, about uh, six millimeters, okay? What, what somebody can do is you can cut a piece of this pipe about one centimeter and do as I will show you. As I said, we will cut a piece of about one centimeter length, just like that. Okay, this is the piece that I cut. What you can do now is that you can... I don't know if you can see it. You can push it above the capstan shaft, okay, and it will slide in. Okay. Just be careful not to use too much pressure. Keep. Just take your time doing it, and it will end up like this. Now, now, if I turn on the machine, okay, look what will happen. Look at that. I can decrease the speed here by using the vary speed. But if I increase it too much, have a look. Now the machine, now the machine plays about 15 inches per second. Uh, if you have a tone, let's say thousand, uh, the frequency of thou 1000 hertz, you can adjust the vary speed, and with the 15 inches per second, you will get 2000 hertz. You can measure the frequency and adjust the speed until you measure 2000 Hz and then you, have, you will have proper speed of uh, 15 inches per second. That's how it works, folks. You see? That's how it works. And I found it to be very usable. Furthermore, what you can do Stopped. Now you can just with even by using a small tool, be very careful not to damage the shaft. You can just take it, take out that pipe. Now I cannot do it by hand. I will have to use something. You can take it, take it out, and this conversion is very easily reversible. Like that, you just have it as it was before. By using a tool like that, listen, look what you can do. You can just put it there and just, you see, tuck. No. A little bit more. Okay. Okay, now I took this out and now the machine works exactly as before. Look. Okay. This is proper normal speed. Everything is like it was before. That's all. Thank you. Bye.